New at 10, Oregonians are celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day for the third time since the holiday was officially recognized. It is meant to recognize Native American history, culture, and resilience. And this morning, we're taking you to a local celebration. It just kicked off. Fox News' Bonnie Silkman joins us live in studio now with a closer look. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, hi. Today, Native American people are celebrating their centuries-long history of resilience with ceremonies, dances, and markets like we see here showcasing amazing Native American art, jewelry, and clothing. So if you take a look at this video, this is just a sneak peek of what you can find right now at a special market that just kicked off in Portland. In fact, we have a live look at that market right now. and Look at all these people already there. So we're showing you this event that's unfolding at Portland State University this morning at the Native American Student and Community Center. Here you can find more than 25 indigenous and black vendors. It looks like they're very busy. Lots of stuff out there this morning. There is music, there's activities for the kids, free snacks, and much more it looks like they have a DJ so a lot of people coming in and out and again this just kicked off eight minutes ago so it looks like a great start to this event lots of families uh, Portland Indigenous Marketplace is what this is called and the group says that the special event supports indigenous artists and entrepreneurs by providing barrier-free culturally respectful spaces that encourages cultural resilience. Look at all this cool stuff. So unique. We just heard uh, from one of the vendors there, the owner of Resting Warrior Face, who creates different types of Native American art and original jewelry. She partakes in these marketplaces throughout the year, but says today is a really special one. A long time ago, we weren't allowed to celebrate our culture, our heritage, or practice our languages. It's 2023 now. We're living in a different time where now we are able to embrace who we are as indigenous people and pass our teachings, our music, everything down to our younger generation. So Indigenous Peoples Day is a day to reclaim who we are as Indigenous Peoples Day and to celebrate it. Yeah, and a big thank you for uh, to Rebecca for talking to us. She was very busy setting up this morning. She had her kids there, I think. So really cool to see from her. Here is another live look at the event. We're looking at some coconut strawberry cake. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Some southern banana pudding also at the event. So yeah, just uh, giving you a taste of some of the food that's there too that you can check out. And events like these are really happening in a lot of cities across the U.S. today, two years after President Biden officially commemorated Indigenous Peoples Day. An increasing number of states have also recognized it, pivoting from a day long rooted in the celebration of explorer Christopher Columbus. Um, so yeah, again, a live look at the event right now at Portland State University. There is another event tonight uh, from 5 to 8 at Barbie's Village in Northeast Portland. There will be a community dinner, more vendors, a children's powwow, and a guest speaker. So, so cool to see all these vendors there and a live look at the market. That market, by the way, just kicked off at PSU, but it goes until 3 o'clock today, so you have time to check it out. And a reminder, some places will be closed today for Columbus Day and Indigenous Peoples Day, like post offices, most banks, federal institutions, and places like libraries. Businesses like FedEx, Ground Delivery, UPS, and restaurants will continue on or have modified options operations along with schools. So really cool to see some of the unique work that's happening at this market right now and lots something to, you can check out this morning. Yeah. And lots to eat too, lots yes. of shopping. Lots of really pretty earrings, Gorgeous. I really noticed. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Bonnie. Yeah. All right,